Hi. Um, okay, this is my Elm Yo video. Uh, this is our lesson one video that I am calling Scales. Uh, but before we get into the video, I just want to say hello to all the Elm Yo students. This video is for all the Elm Yo students from Tristan to Valerian Esmeralda and of course Jesus, Kayla, Ashley, Catherine, and Jacqueline. Um, it's for everybody. So we're all going to be here doing the same video. But before we go also get into that, I just want to say I hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I know this is a really tough time for everybody um, and it's surprising. I don't think any of us had any idea it would get this restrictive, but it is and so we're making the best of it. It's it's kind of tough. You can see that I'm in um, I'm in one of the nurseries of my house um, because I can't seem to find any space, any peace and quiet without my kids barging in. Actually, this is already the second video that I have made because my son keeps attacking me. So, anyway. Um, but I hope you guys are able to find a little bit of quiet, a little bit of peace, but mostly a little bit of time to practice your instrument. It's incredibly important right now um, to stay, to continue doing it every day. So each week I'm going to be coming out with um, videos. I'm going to actually have two for you this week, the scales video, um, and then we're going to work through some spots that Jessica um, Miss Jessica asked us to do, so we're going to be doing that. Um, but in addition to that, I'm also going to be trying um, through Miss Sarah to um, to connect with you guys one on one and just to listen to you play um, little private lessons and maybe even something as a group. So we'll continue to work on that together. But this video today, um, I'm going to take you through three of our scales, um, and this is not a daily video that I want you to do. It's a, I want you to do this video once. And then I want you to come back to this video when you are forgetting something or you need a refresher um, or write things down for yourselves to practice. Um, but this is going to be our complete scales video. So it, we're going to go through um, G major two octave today, F major two octave today, and D major two octave. But we're going to begin with our G major, the last scale that we had added. So um, G major scale, how many sharps? I hope you said one sharp, and if you said one sharp, I hope that sharp was F sharp. Okay, so we always have to remember that. Um, before we even get into this, just a reminder that G major takes you into fourth position, okay? And you're going to shift your fourth, fourth position on a first finger on E. So that was the new um, technique for this. Now, um, I'm going to play it once through with you, but I'm going to play it in quarter notes um, just for you to listen to once. Okay, so just listen, or you can even join me if you want to, but this is for quarter notes. One, two, three, four. for that. Um, they're just waking up from naps. Um, so if you could actually hear what I was saying, um, that was your G major scale. Um, okay, great. So how I think you should practice the G major scale is, is truthfully however you want, but your options are to start, definitely start in whole notes. Two. go into half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. Remember, you can always choose to combine them um, into four beats per bow, four quarter notes, eight eighth notes, two half notes, one whole note, or you can choose to do them separate, and both of them have different um, benefits. Um, so you can go ahead and pause the video now and practice that scale, however you would like to practice it, in whichever bow configuration you would like to. Go ahead and pause. So one other thing that I want to remind you with 
our G major set um, because it takes us into fourth position and honestly our, our ears just aren't quite adjusted enough for fourth position yet. Um, I taught you just to play sad Mary had a little in just to really listen to our, our intonation. So we have our G, um, we'll start in our G. Uh, you can listen to me play it once or you can try to join in with me however you'd like. But I'm going to play Mary Had a Sad Lamb. that now listen remember we always wanted that F sharp to be a little bit higher most of you were too a little too low okay so really listen for that relationship between your G and your F sharp you can go ahead and pause the video and play that now okay so good job with that um, next week I will be adding a new position piece that I will somehow figure out a way to get to you guys um, a new position piece to go along with our, our fourth position we haven't done any um, position pieces in fourth position yet so I will be adding that next week okay I think now it's a good time to turn our attention to the F major scale okay so just a reminder sharps flats I hope you said flats how many? I hope you said one. Which one? I really hope you said B flat. So if you didn't, learn it now. Um, F major is essentially the flat scale of G major. G major has one sharp, F major has one flat. Um, and always our first flat is always going to be B flat. Okay? So just please remember that. Um, the other reminder with this scale, we hadn't done it in class for a little while, but it takes us in the way I'm having you do the fingering. It takes us into third position. So we will shift to a first finger on D. Okay? And the same thing with this scale. Go ahead and practice it. Maybe if you did the other one separate bow, do this one slurred. You know, that's a good idea. Okay, let's do this together. Um, make sure your elbow height is really nice. Focus on your bows, guys. Make sure you still have beautiful bow angles. This isn't just about playing the notes, it's about playing. The notes beautifully with beautiful technique. So let's go ahead um, and I'll play this one. Let's I'll do it right now um, in a fast whole note. One, two, three, four. about that one thing. Um, I chose to play that in whole notes, but 
you could hear me saying sustained drop, especially at the tip. In fact, it might have even sounded like I was crescendoing towards my tip and day crescendoing towards my claw. It's a really good thing to add to your scale. In fact, um, Miss Jessica made a comment to me that she thought our cello section could use a lot more sustain. And honestly, we need to practice our sustain outside of our pieces. We need to practice it in our scales. So go ahead and practice your whole F major scale. Um, right now you can go ahead and pause the video and really practice it. Listen to your intonation, listen to your bow. Get, up, get in front of a mirror right now um, and just watch yourself, you know, and listen. Okay, pause and practice. Okay, so we're back. Now, there's um, there's a position pieces that I think is a really good position pieces. If you have um, the haunted house um, of your position piece book, um, we definitely, I think this was the most, almost the most recent one we did. It's the bottom one down here. Um, but this is a review of our third position practice. I just wanna remind you that we're in two flats here. Um, and it might seem like it's in B flat major, but it's not. Okay, if you listen to it, the sound of it sounds very sad, sounds very kind of eerie. So remember, we're in the relative minor, which is G minor. Okay, so our entire hand position is closed. So um, I'm just going to play the very opening for you, just to remind you about our speed. But you're listening. You're always listening to. <laughs> your octave so it starts with a D to a high D you're listening for that intonation if this is a really good song uh, position pieces to pair with your F major scale um, because it deals in a closed third position here so go ahead and take a listen and then you can practice it by yourself I'm gonna start by making sure my octave is beautiful today with the other really important scale that we need to really keep up, which is our D major scale. And D major scale is equally important, even though it's an old scale for us, but that's our big extension scale. Um, so just want to remind you guys, when you're doing extensions, we've been doing them for a long time, but so easily bad habits can really creep in like the way I'm showing you right now. And just remember, for your extensions, forward extension is essentially a shift where your whole hand shifts forward, but your first finger is left behind. It is not um, a stretching like that, okay? So it's really kind of like a shift with the first finger left behind. And then a backwards extension is keeping your whole hand position and just extending, okay? So really do remember that. D major scale has two sharps, okay? Um, and the order of those sharps are F sharp, C sharp. All right, good. Um, I'm just going to start you off on this, okay? And then please, pra please practice the same exact ways, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Forward extension. Hand. One, two, three. 
down. or play it with me, whichever is easiest for you, but remind yourself, this is kind of a, a teaching lesson today, um, more than just an active playing lesson for you, um, but I think it'll be really helpful. Um, if you were to do a position piece with your D major scale, even though it's very different, um, but the March of the Dinosaurs is a good one. Um, it goes into third position, but it also deals with some extensions, so that might be a good one, too, and I know you have that. It's just... Um, the one, oops, the one right above the haunted house that we did earlier is this one. Okay, so you should practice, during your practice sessions, practice one scale every day. Um, you don't have to reference this video, but if you are struggling with the scale, you need to come back here and give yourself a little tutorial, okay? Um, from here, you should go ahead and, and practice um, you know, you're continuing with Coco, do everything that you're doing, um, and I'll get into that more in another video, but we're still hoping that Elm will be able to come back, um, you know, in April, or maybe in May, but who knows, but we're still planning on doing the concert, so we got to keep our stuff up. All right, you guys, uh, have a great week, um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys.